know, Diamond's been in business since 1968. Uh, I was first a customer of Diamond early on, and then I was employed at Diamond in the customer service portion, and that was in the, the mid-80s. Then we had an opportunity to come back and, and buy Diamond in 2000. Way back in 1968, Diamond was the leader in the pro-stock stuff. They did a lot of the uh, early pro-stock engines, and then they moved on and they did a lot of NASCAR stuff after that. And after we purchased the company, we had an opportunity to work with Greg Anderson on his pro-stock deal. So it was kind of like history repeating itself. I think one of our advantages in the industry is the capabilities we have machining-wise and engineering-wise. From a full billet part, you know, prototype, all the way to your street and strip shelf stock stuff. Very large arrangement of shelf stock, catalog parts that fit most popular combinations. And if that doesn't work for you, we can do a custom base with any, any change or tweak that needed to fit your application. Our relationships with some of the higher end teams and you know the, the guys that are winning really help us because it allows us to develop a, a better product that helps understand and it also showcases that, that the product's that good. You know, we have guys out there going and setting records using our product. It allows the, the people that are trying to, to follow that suit to understand that that's, that's the steps they need to take. Yeah, I learned early on when I was employed at, at Diamond, one of the things that I really appreciate about the uh, the founders of Diamond is they gave everybody the same support. At that time we were doing a lot of uh, NASCAR work and if an average uh, Saturday night racer called, he got the same product support and attention that the, the Richard Petties and some of the well-known people got. And I really appreciated that. We've tried to instill that uh, today. Well, I would think the future for Diamond is just to continue to do what we've been doing. and. Uh, listen to the customer, try to provide him with the products and the service that he needs. So I think the future of Diamond hopefully is it continues uh, to repeat history. <laughs>